and they'll be here soon. And I'm off to Colorado, there's romance in the ore. Gonna mind me a diamond at a second hand store. Gonna love my neighbor like the good book said. Put some miles between the quick and the dead. Come on, let's go to the swinging shed. Somebody to blame Still painting with a hammer On my masterpiece With my water lust A simmering in a pan of grease All the men that the books That I never had read Wondered if my suitcase Was still under the bed Come on, let's go to the swinging shed
the, the head from that old animation called Mono. In this lesson, we explore the highly infectious world of the EB virus, which, when transmitted oropharynically from the donor's mouth to a recipient's pharynx, leads to the dreaded condition known within the medical conspiracy as mononucleosis. To the ignorant, that's mono. An unusually slippery parasite, the EB or Epstein-Barnes virus is totally without prejudice. It couldn't care less whose stomadium its megametamorphic parasitaic body invades. As the EB virus might say, they're all pink on the inside. It leaps from one glossal cavity to another, oblivious to the havoc it leaves behind. This indiscriminate contagion's favorite time for ravaging pharynxes is in the late fall or early spring. Its preferred environment is the libya and glossus of young humans, particularly those who indulge in excessive gropigatory oscillating, or kissing as the layman would call it. But what are the signs of mono? First of all, you're so tired you can barely lift your pedal extremities. Now check your neck for pharyngitis, or sore throat. Next, inspect all lymph glands for signs of lymphadenopathy, then quickly look for atypical lymphocytes. If you find you've got all five symptoms, you should alert all your comrades in promiscuity, because they've probably been infected too. But don't worry, it may not be too late. Normally, mononucleosis is easy enough to cure, and your friends can help. How? We'll find out in part two of Endangered Diseases. Nice hair, huh? Yeah. But it's, it's been sitting there gathering dust for a while. I'm going to pull its eyes out and to scavenge them and maybe use somewhere else. Notice how it has tiny holes drilled in the center of the eye to animate the eyeball. Yes. But, <clears throat> man, I'm going to need a little screwdriver to pop that eyeball out. Okay, let's try this eye. Oh, oh honey, this hurts me more than it hurts you. Actually, I bet that's a lie. That had some great expressions mm. as you were doing it. Mm. Surprised. And sad. Confused and insane. No, oh, I bet. Mm. Oh! This is sick. There. Oh, here it is. No! There's paper towel behind it. Okay. There's this one. Man, it didn't want to go. Look at those nerve, those uh, optic nerve cells clinging to the eyeball. Isn't there another head like this in the Bob Museum? Yeah, the, yeah, the, okay. yeah, the male head is in the Bob Museum. But this one here is going to get launched directly into the trash because it's just filthy and it was, but we got the eyes. Got, got, got the all important eyes. Yeah, yeah. Those could be Bob's eyes next year. <laughs> I guess they could. They're from the visible head. <laughs>